Hey, Chris here, recording from my balcony at night yet again. Yesterday, if you caught my video, I was talking about imposter syndrome, which, if you missed it, imposter syndrome is all about how it's, well, it's the term psychologists have coined to talk about how you feel that you're not qualified to do something. Maybe you get a new job, maybe you're teaching something, and you, you have this feeling in the pit of your stomach that you are an imposter, that you're not qualified to do it. And it's something I've struggled with, and as I was saying yesterday, it's something that you may have a problem with if what you're saying is something that's obvious to you. You feel like an imposter because you are showing, you're telling something that to you is obvious. Well, and I was saying that you, well, you shouldn't assume that just because it's obvious to you means that it's obvious to everyone else because oftentimes it's not. But anyway, so just to, today, earlier today, I was listening to a podcast that was talking that, that uh, there was a question from a viewer who, or a listener, who said that she had some product that was teaching women how to make money online. And she said that, um, that she felt a little uh, uneasy about trying to, trying to sell this product because she hadn't made any money online herself. And the host said something about imposter syndrome. And I thought, that is, that is a very good illustration of what is not imposter syndrome. That's called being an actual imposter. So if you were trying to tell, sell something to somebody that teaches them how to do something, which is something that you have never done successfully, then yeah, you are an imposter. It's not a syndrome, that's actually being an imposter. So please, for the love of God, don't do that. Um, I met a guy a while ago who was, uh, did, did the same thing. He was, you know, he's writing a book on how to be successful and he had he'd done nothing. And um, people like that are gonna find that it's extremely difficult to be successful. It's, I mean, maybe if you're a really good liar, uh, but, you know, in that case, I mean, obviously I don't think you should be doing that. If you're going to sell someone something to someone, if you're going to take people's money, you ought to be able to accurately represent what you're giving them. You ought to be able to give them something of value. And if it's something that you have not even accomplished yourself, you absolutely have no business selling it, in my opinion. If you're going to sell them, I mean... Chances are you have you that doesn't you know that doesn't mean that you just because you haven't haven't gotten rich or whatever you don't have something useful to teach someone maybe you could sell them a certain technical skill that would help them along the way to getting rich but you know sell it on, on that technical skill don't sell that as I'm gonna help you get rich when you've never done it um, but uh, a good a good workaround there so that means that doesn't mean that you can't you can't sell people on how to get rich. What I would recommend, if that's really what you want to do, is sell people on how to get rich. What I would recommend is that you sell someone else's product. Be an affiliate. Uh, affiliate selling is great because you don't have to create your own product, and that means that you don't. Your own credibility doesn't really matter. If you're selling someone else's product, then um, if that person is credible, then great because they're the ones who made the product you're just the salesman it doesn't really matter if you're credible so I would highly recommend that if you if you don't have the experience if, or if you don't have the results to show for so you uh, don't become an actual imposter anyway that's it for tonight any questions comments suggestions let me know